Hello, guys. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Willie Stimmage Podcast. Uh, we're coming to you live on YouTube today. Just want to update you on today's action. And uh, today we had uh, Walnut Ridge uh, taking on Cincinnati Woodward. Now, this is what the uh, preview says. It says... Uh, Kent State signee Bon Cameron Davis continues to rack up big numbers, averaging 26.4 points a game, and he will be in the mix of uh, Ohio Converse Mr. Basketball Awards and all that. The fourth year mainstay is, is flanked by his fellow seniors, uh, Kavion Ross. He's averaging 15.5 point, uh, points a game. And then you got Quan. Uh, Mag Magwood, along with juniors Leon Douglas and Miles Garrett, uh, and these are the guys. Uh, Magwood and Ross are both Division One football priorities. Uh, then you got Cincinnati Woodward uh, coming in uh, with two and two with two early losses in the season, but they are led by sophomore Paul McMillan, the the fourth. He's averaging about thirty point five points a game. He's just a sophomore, just a sophomore averaging. 30.5 points a game and ranks as a consensus top 100 player in America. Uh, keep an eye on this guy. He's already got, in his sophomore year, in his sophomore year, he already has offers for Cincinnati, Dayton, Xavier, Ole Miss, UT Martin. Uh, he's not made a verbal commit yet. Uh, Montre Ware is uh, top supported, nearly 15 points a night. And Aaron Davis and Cam Moreland add scoring depth too. And uh, Brandon Cromer and Davion Mace are both uh, contributors as well for the Bulldogs. Now let me just break this down what happened today. This is what happened today. Uh, uh, Walter Rich beat these guys. Woodward uh, 87-55. At one point it was a 30 point blowout. They were leading by 30 points. And uh, the stat sheet uh, for Woodward, uh, here's a stat sheet. And, and the guys I mentioned, uh, Montrez Ware, uh, this guy only had six points. Pay, played 23 minutes, only had six points. Uh, another guy they mentioned in this uh, article here is Aaron Davis. He only had two points. And he played uh, 14, yeah, he played 14 minutes. But the Paul McMillan guy, just a sophomore, this guy was giving them buckets. I mean, he was actually giving them buckets. He had 29 points, and he could have, if he didn't start scoring when the game first started, because he actually took over in the fourth quarter. He actually took over in the fourth quarter, and then he scored 29 points. But if he had started that early in the game, <clears throat> these guys would have uh, – made it a contest, but he didn't have his supporting cast. Did he be, didn't even help him. I mean, this guy, had, he had 20, listen to this. Uh, he had 29 points, which is good, but his supporting cast, six points, seven points, two points, four points, seven points, zero, 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 zero. And that's the whole squad right there. No other player got into double figures. No other player got into double figures. And then for uh, Walnut Ridge, they actually blew the doors off these guys. They was like, I mean, these guys are like, uh, and they're from Columbus, and uh, I guess Wolver's from the Cincinnati area. But uh, my man, uh, Vaughn Cameron Davis, he scored uh, 27 points. He's right around his average. Uh, Kavion Ross matched it with 27 points. Uh, Miles Garrett had 13. This guy's a stud, too. Uh, Leon Douglas had seven, uh, Zion Blevins had five, and uh, you got four, two, two, respectively. Uh, but the most of the load came from Kavion Ross, Kavion Ross, and Vaughn Cameron Davis. They 27 apiece. And uh, but you look at the score, the uh, Woodward only had 55 points, and 29 of them points came from uh, Paul McMillan. So, uh, you know, in order to, you got to compete. You really got to compete. I mean, it's like, 
uh, Walnut Ridge just t just blew the doors off of him. Man, the guys, you know, only person competed was uh, the guy named Paul. So, uh, you know, there you have it. Uh, that's all I got for today. Um, I'll be at Flying to the Hoop tomorrow. Notice I'm, I'm rocking my Flying to the Hoop hat. And I got my Flying to the Hoop shirt. So, uh, thanks for the support. Uh, so I'm still down in the Dayton area. Uh, day three is tomorrow. Uh, we'll see uh, what uh, I think. Says, who's playing tomorrow? I think Lutheran. Uh, I take that back. Uh, First Love is playing tomorrow. Brush, Crestwood Prep, uh, Garfield Heights. Uh, all these guys are playing tomorrow. So, guys, that's all I got today. Uh, thank you guys for listening. You got for tuning in, just give you an update of what's going on down here in Kettering, Ohio, uh, at the Flying to the Hoop. I got two fingers up. That means peace. I'm out.